Well, I've spotted it from here, the best dumpster diving find of the year. Oh my goodness, I took the two pieces. I took two of the paintings and I will show you which ones I took. All right, let's see what we got right on over here. This evening we have ourselves, uh, looks like some Tupperware stuff. I think we're gonna have to go in for a closer look. Well, everybody needs Ikea slats, not to mention a walking foot shoe. Folks, the two-man team is right behind me. That's hilarious. They have an out-of-state license plate, but that's two weeks in a row that they're diving. And so I just jumped ahead of them. They'll probably see that, and hopefully they do take that. That's a good uh, chair, shower chair, uh, for an elderly or someone that's disabled. So with that said, to be honest with you, I'm not worried. God's gonna bless us both with good dumpster diving finds. And like I said, there they are, down there with the uh, shower chair there. My guess is they're gonna throw it in their truck. Good for them. But let me jump ahead of you guys before you find some stuff that I want. Let's whip up here real quickly here. I don't know what kind of vacuum that is. That's a canister, and it looks like it has a couple of them there. A couple canister-looking guy. Interesting. I'm not the biggest fan of canisters. I like my battery powered a little bit better these days. And also, it wasn't a TriStar. If it was a TriStar, that would be in the back of the car. Right now, those are really expensive canister vacuums live right here with you nothing i just saw dumpster diver dolores she was out getting some bottles and cans hopefully she saved me at least a computer maybe some sony wireless headphones Well, that one's a little tough because there was no power cord, so it probably means that the ink ran out and they just unplugged the back without plugging it out of the wall socket and then put it down there for someone else to grab. Uh, I checked on eBay. Those don't go for very much pre-owned. Shipping's going to kill you. If you were uh, thrift storing or if you were garage selling, then you could easily make a quick 20 probably. And you know what 20 bucks is? That's pizza money. Well, I've spotted it from here, the best dumpster diving find of the year. Can you guess it? Christmas tree, technically the best find of last year. Now with joking aside, I did see something over here. So let's go ahead and pull on up and see what we can see in this aisleway. There was like a uh, wooden shoe rack right there, or you know, put some sort of items right on top right there. That's looking actually pretty nice. It's almost like bamboo, but I think it's just wood. Solid score there. We had all sorts of goodies. We had a little uh, paint uh, print, or I should say a photo picture print live right here with you. We had ourselves a upstairs uh, dog baby gate, and then a four pack of brand new filters. I took those, of course. It's been a while since I've shopped for filters, but my guesstimation live right here with you, a lot of trash. Uh, my guesstimation is you're probably looking at 15, 20 bucks, huh? What do you think for a four pack brand new filters? 3M, genuine. When I first came in, I did see something right here. So let's go ahead and see if we need to pop out and take a closer look here. Uh, it's down here on the ground. I can't tell what that is. Uh, 
I don't know. Let's go see what's that. Uh, let's go see what's up. Sorry, pretty bad footage there. That was two booster car seats, uh, children's car seats, boosters, just the boosters. All right, let's check this out right here. We got ourselves a couple of storage little containers there. That's looking really nice for organization. Nothing inside them though. Not sure if this is a subwoofer or a mini fridge. Let's go in for a closer look. Well, it'd be a little hard to test that, but they are selling. Not too many of them, but I looked on eBay. There was, I think, a smaller version. Uh, went for including shipping under 200. Uh, that shipping would be uh, massive. <laughs> Extra large U-Haul box. Probably cost you 100 bucks across the country. Eh, I just left it. It's kind of more for like something like a stage musician, church stage subwoofer. TRX 11.8N. You do find a lot of random good stuff though, dumpster diving, I'll tell you what. That's pretty wild, isn't it? That is pretty wild. That's actually a really nice oven here. As we can see, uh, four burner. Four burner? You can reheat some pizza in that sucker. Uh, let's see, my folks got one. I can't tell what name brand that is. I don't see a shelf in there either. Ah, it still looks really nice. Maybe a Cuisinart so you can warm up that pizza. I typically use the uh, like bagel toaster type of a toaster and I just toast up my toast. I put some of that sunflower seed butter on it. Almond butter, peanut butter with a little bit of raw organic honey. Come on now. This is the same complex as the uh, degree that we saw that I think you guys said was fake. What's this now? Is that a... Autograph copy, an original declaration of independence. Did you ever hear that dumpster diver story where uh, somebody uh, found a, a bunch of artwork or like a piece of artwork and they will like the frame? You can Google this story. And uh, as they were taking the painting or photo picture uh, apart, because again, they like the frame only, uh, in back was a folded copy or something or other. And it was like an actual legitimate um uh not like one of the original originals but like one of like the original however many numbered like reprints of the declaration of independence and i i guess it's just worth millions uh google the story it's fantastic story speaking of fantastic how about uh bed frame metal mattress and box spring you got a whole bed set up right there folks a whole entire bed setup baby it's not about the pizza sometimes it's about the sauce the sauce well ladies and gentlemen i'm sorry for the apologies of the house tour it's gonna have to wait just a little bit longer due to organization but you're looking at one of the pieces from the painting hall i'm still baffled by that to be honest with you i'm literally baffled this is the one that was underneath all the bubble wrap and i thought this was a gorgeous piece a spanish dancer red kind of tango spanish style i love it i absolutely love it I think this is an absolutely beautiful piece. This is real oil painting. Um, I'm going to have to look up if this is some sort of, you know, obviously that would be fantastic if it was some sort of famous artist. Most likely, I have no idea. This first time I'm actually looking at it, uh, nothing on the back, no signatures, just a little bit of touch of fingerprints of the artist probably but what if that's a famous artist and i have their fingerprints not to mention their signature on here so this is house goals this is what i'm talking about house goals you're like chris you're in a house well i gotta kind of explain the story behind the house it's a blessing but uh, we'll get to that story during the house tour anyway 
Let's look at the next piece. All right, this is the next piece and it is gorgeous as well. To be honest with you, I like it. It's not really my style, but I do like it. But the reason I did take it was because out of the two ones that look like this, if you remember, you can watch the last episode and check that out. I like this one a little bit better, but I took it mainly for the frame. The frame is gorgeous and I could potentially swap out a painting. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the back here. If not, that's definitely my folks' style, so we'll check that out. Um, looks like uh, the frame is you know, made in China. Uh, I don't know anything about this. Looks like Bombay. Uh, that might be, I can't tell, Bombay Co. I might have to look that up. That might just be like a store, and then I saw this. Our product is handcrafted, hand furnished. No two frames are exactly the same. Hey, oh man, no two frames. Okay, cool, cool. And then it has this here with a little attachment on there and then something or other here. So I don't know. I don't know. I might have to look up this piece. Looks like it's coming out made for Bombay Co. out of Fort Worth, Texas. That's made in USA. That's good old USA quality right there. Tell you what. All right, we're looking good. So anyway, those are the art pieces that I took out of all the art haul. I only took those two pieces, but again, my favorite, where to go? My favorite is going to be Miss Spanish Danza. What should we nickname her? Dumpster Diver Dolores. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>